I have a friend, um, his name is Ron. I haven't known him uh, for years and years. Uh, it's kind of a, a recent friendship, but I, I admire him a lot. And he's told me uh, a great deal about himself. One of the things he told me is that uh, his, his mother was a nurse and she had a, a thing about cleanliness. And she was always telling him to, to be uh, careful about germs. And so one of the instructions that she gave him, he said that he, he learned uh, to do was uh, always uh, make a fist and if the door swung out, use your fist to open that door. And then he said, uh, she told me that if uh, the door was pulled towards you, to use your little finger, get your finger around the, the door handle and you could open it that way. He said, uh, it took me a number of years to realize I, I had the strongest little finger of anyone that he knew. Um, he is also a, a very uh, generous person with his time. He, he volunteers a lot and he works uh, once in a while at, at a soup kitchen. He told me about this one incident that taught him a great deal. Uh, at the soup kitchen, they served uh, chili and a couple pieces of uh, buttered bread. And uh, he'd put it on a tray and take it down to different uh, guests of the uh, uh, soup kitchen. And he said he, he was taking this one tray down to the soup kitchen. And he said, this poor guy, I mean, he was obviously... Uh, a street person, and uh, his clothes were, of course, all dirty, and it, uh, he needed a shave desperately, and uh, he just looked kind of sad. He said, so I'm taking the tray to him, and I, I, I put it down, and I hadn't let go of the tray yet, and he put both his hands on, on my hands. And uh, he looked up at me and said, oh, God bless you, thank you, you're so good. And he said, as he touched both of my hands, I, I noticed how dirty his hands were. And he said, it, it looked like a little dried blood on, on one of them. Anyway, he said, uh, he appreciated the man's uh, gratitude and was walking back to the table and this uh, other night of the road, stopped him and said, could I have a little more chili? And he said, sure. So he goes and holds in his hand this bowl of chili and takes it down to uh, the gentleman. And um, the gentleman uh, takes it in his hands, he said, he noticed because of his training from his nurse mother by cleansiness. But this, this guy's hands were, were especially dirty. And as he gave him the, the bowl of chili a little spilled on his hand, his own hand, and he said he instinctively licked it. <laughs> and he said as soon as he did that, you know, he realized uh, all the teachings of his mom about germs. Uh, so he's walking back and he told me, it really made him think. Uh, uh, Jesus said, what you do for the least of my brothers and sisters, you do to me. And he said, I touched Jesus. Uh, I touched Jesus today. Uh, and different people that I, I, I helped uh, to get some food. Uh, what a wonderful thing. And uh, he said, I'll just never forget uh, Jesus' word, what you do for the least of my brothers and my sisters, you do to me. The gospel you just heard has really two simple insights. One is that you and I are accountable. We're followers of Jesus. Today you, you watched a part of the rite of 
Christian initiation, people who want to come into communion uh, in the church. Uh, but we are members of, of Christ's body. Christ lives within us. And at this Mass, we'll be receiving the body and the blood, the soul and the divinity of, of Jesus Christ. And we are accountable to act like Christ, to be kind, merciful, to be uh, sensitive to others and, and generous, uh, because Christ lives in them, too. And uh, what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters, we do for Jesus. So we are accountable to, to be a good person. And life is for living. That's the second lesson of this gospel. Life is for living. So the question is, how do I live? Do I live as a faithful, loyal follower of Jesus? Do I pray every day? Uh, not long prayers, uh, just short prayers. Do I make the sign of the cross when I go by in my car, uh, a Catholic church, uh, that Jesus is reserved in that church to, to nourish us. He is our food and drink. We are accountable and we are to live life fully and, and wonderfully, generously, as followers of Jesus. May we be um, living witnesses to the Word of God. We've heard the Word of God together. May it fall, that word of God, upon each one of our hearts that we may uh, proclaim Christ Jesus always, every day of our lives.